My name is Oli Southall, I've been skating for about five years now. My name is Ned, I've been skating for one year and two months. I am 11 right now, but I'll be turning 12 soon. <laughs> Sometimes you will spend hours and hours trying to get one trick. But that feeling when you land that trick is like it's unparalleled when it comes to sports, like it makes me very happy. I think the skateboarding feels more like an art than a sport. When you're skateboarding through town and you can feel the different textures on the road, you're more aware of your surroundings, you feel more connected to the city. It sounds like oh skateboarding you're doing massive drops and all that, it's like it must be really intense. It's not, it's like really like calming sort of. You can relieve a lot of stress with it as well. At the time I started in about year eight or something, um, what well, I'd go to school, go in class, do PE, that's the, that's the kind of sports I did. I wasn't really into many other things, to be honest, like it, all the structured stuff, it just me when someone was trying to tell me what to do. I was never really as good as like most people at this sports, and it's just like, there's so many rules, it's like you can't really feel free doing it. I was just like, I need something that I can completely control what I'm learning and when I go and do it and if I feel like I want to go out and then I feel like I don't want to skate I can just chill you know what I mean there's nobody telling you this this time is for skateboarding so it's very controlled by myself I think people have a negative perception of it because uh, they associate it with drugs, they associate it with uh, smoking weed, you know, like destroying things. Some people have had bad experiences, maybe they got hit by a skateboarder who wasn't looking where they going, or someone always skates on their property, so it's a, it's, a, it's a particular difficulty for them. But then a lot of it will just come from stereotypes as well. When you go to like a skate spot, you, they probably think you're trying to destroy it, like everything. Whereas like, we would prefer to just get our trick and leave. We don't want to like bother people that much. I mean, it is anti-establishment, but it's also just anti it's, it's like, it's anti-normality when it comes to sports and stuff like that. It's very different to normal sports, so if you want to call that anti-establishment, you can, but that's just people expressing themselves differently, you know what I mean? I think with Plaza, it's so central in Bristol. Like, there's so many bus stops near it. People are always going to skate there, even if they put skate stoppers there. That's what the appeal of um, street skating is. It's finding spots within the city that you wouldn't think immediately, oh, somebody could skateboard that and then they skateboard it in a way that you couldn't imagine. I see where they are a bit annoyed, but like nobody else really uses it and they could have just bought us like made a skate park with that amount of money, which we could have gone to. New Dean skate park costs like 12 grand, so you could make a new skate park with the overpriced money you used to put in these little bits of metal, so that doesn't make sense. I don't know why you would try and remove skateboarding from a city that relies on skateboarding to, to be a interesting and inviting city to live in. The community is like one of the best sports communities I've kind of I've come across in my life. It's very open, it's very welcoming, especially if you go to other locations that you've never been to before, like other skate parks, other cities. Everyone's like really like nice compared to other sports, some people can be really competitive. You can bomb with skaters over tricks. It's easy to become a part of if you don't find it easy making friends. They've built a new bit which was funded by all the skaters in the skate community. It's nice to have an area we can kind of claim. I go to Dean Lane and I had a really bad board and they just gave me like free debt and I just get free stuff all the time. What I say to a young skater who's uh, trying, to, trying to get into skating is if you want to do it, Go for it, you know, just go for it. Like don't 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 think about anyone's gonna judge you. That's all I can say, you know. <laughs>